Hi friends, in this video, we are going to see and derive EMF equation of a DC generator. For this, some terms need to be defined. So let's define each term. So let P equals number of poles of the generator. Phi equals flux produced by each pole and that is given in Weber. Then we have a n nothing but speed of the armature of the generator. And it is in revolution per minute that is RPM. Z is total number of conductors which are fit in the slots of armature. A is nothing but number of parallel paths in which armature conductors are distributed. Now, EMF induced in an armature conductor is given by Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, which states that EMF induced E is nothing but rate of cutting the flux. What does that mean? EMF E equal to d5 by dt. Now let's derive EMF equation taking E equal to d5 by dt, this is as per Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Total flux in a DC machine will be Flux produced by each pole multiplied with number of poles. So this phi, which is a total phi I can say, phi we defined as flux produced by each pole and number of poles are P. So it is phi into P. Now, time taken to complete one revolution is nothing but a time period. So time required, <coughs> repeat, time required for a conductor to complete one revolution equal to 60 upon n where n is the speed of armature given in RPM. 
So if I substitute this over here, I will get EMF e equal to phi into p upon 60 by n. That is nothing but phi p n by 60. Now, this is a EMF induced by one conductor. So, for total number of conductors which are Z, EMF induced will be EMF induced by one conductor multiplied by number of conductors present. But this conductor Z are arranged in a number of parallel paths. So actually speaking, we have multiple parallel paths present and in each path there are conductors. And EMF induced will be like this. So total conductors are Z and those are arranged in A parallel paths. So effectively this EMF will be nothing but voltage across this or this or this. So effectively it is Z by A. Because Z are the total conductors A number of parallel paths. So Z by A are the conductors across which EMF is induced. So here I can say Z conductors are distributed in A parallel paths. So effectively Z by A conductors need to be multiplied with EMF induced in one conductor. So EMF induced in one conductor is this. So this is only for one conductor. So if I multiply this EMF E which is given as 5 pn by 60 with z by a I will get total EMF induced in a DC generator. So this is a equation which we call as EMF equation for DC generator. Thank you.